Hey y'all, it's Celestia Guidance, three threes, no ease. And we're going to be checking the soulmate energy during this buck moon, okay? AKA super moon, biggest one of the year. Today is also my grandma's birthday, so happy birthday, grandma. <laughs> there's a lot of cancers. I know there's a lot of cancers out there. So happy birthday to y'all. Okay. So we're going to be checking in with this soulmate energy. So while I'm shuffling this deck, okay, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, okay, so you know when I post. If you'd like to see more content, okay, my Instagram is down below. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, or if you'd like to donate to this channel, all the information you need is down below. Okay, so I'm going to do one more shuffle, and then we're going to get into this soulmate energy. So spirit, tell us what we need to know and not what we want to hear, okay? Spirit, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands. Okay, Spirit. Sounds like your soulmate wants to talk quick, okay? So, Spirit, tell us what we need to know and not what we want to hear, okay? And thank you for these messages we're about to receive. Let's get one more card, Spirit. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, Spirit. Okay, so your soulmate is head over heels for you. Head over heels, okay? And your soulmate could be a water sign, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a fire sign, you know, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Aries. This is really good. This is really good. Okay, or your person could be an Aquarius. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Okay. So your soulmate has been doing a lot of inner work and it's about to pay off. It's about to pay off. Like the finish line is right there. It's right there. And they're right here. They're right here. They are about to cross this finish line. And they're about to come to you with an offer. They're going to come in all sweet and kind, offer you, you know, a little date, okay? And then maybe confess to you how they feel, you know, um, if you don't know who your soulmate is, okay, this is going to happen, okay? I'm doing my current energy, okay? So, for you, some of you guys, this didn't happen yet. For some of you guys, this has already happened, okay? For some of you this is going to happen so when it comes to this energy here for your soulmate your soulmate is like so sure of you they never felt so sure about anything until they met you okay this is if you've met your soulmate And your soulmate definitely thinks they could do better than all those other people you've... They wanted me to say losers, but, you know, they're just... They get jealous over you, okay? So, your soulmate is definitely, like, thinking they could do better within themselves. But they could also give you much more than what past people have given you. They want to come in strong but they're going to have like they're going to try to warm you up first okay so your divine masculine is your divine masculine oh i just did a twin flame reading so 
like I said in the last one, th this twin flame need to go kick rocks because this is where the soulmate's here, okay? So, your soulmate is going to come in very shy. Your soulmate gives off very shy energy and they're working on boundaries. They're working on expressing themselves more, being passionate more, being more romantic without feeling like uh, vulnerability is bad. So your soulmate is gonna come in, but they're gonna wanna take things very slow with you. Big D energy. Okay, so your soulmate was just putting on a little front, a little show for you just now. Okay, so they're going to come in. They're going to be all sweet, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is something to get you at your panties or your briefs, okay? They want, if you guys have met your soulmate and something has happened, they won't make up sex. If you haven't met your soulmate yet, they're going to come in with this big dick energy right here. But in reality, they're a page of cups. They're a sweetheart, all right? So they're going to try to come in very masculine, all right? But in reality, they're very, you know, sweet, sensual, you know, they're very gentle, just um, emotional, all right, but with this emperor here, Aries energy, all right, there's a lot of fire going on here. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Fool card, King of Wands, and Death. All right, I'm getting a lot, a lot of lot of good energy. There's, there's so much good energy here. Dang. All right, so your soulmate is your soulmate is dead ass when they when it comes to you. All right, they're not playing no games. All right, your soulmate is ready. Like as soon as they met you, they started they started revamping everything. Oh, they're gonna like this, you know? They're gonna like that. Okay, put this here, put that there. All right, your oh, some of y'all may be moving into a home okay that's cute and starting a blended family all right so your soulmate may have a kid oh they could be taking care of a sick family member or have a pet but they are coming in I heard flight. Either you're taking a flight or they're taking a flight. Either way, you two will be in the same proximity. Same proximity. Um, yes, so your soulmate has been revamping themselves because they're about to come in and act a fool for you, all right? And they don't care who sees it. They don't care because at the end of the day, they don't want to waste time. Your divine soulmate is um, they're not necessarily nervous. They're trying to hide that they're nervous. They're not necessarily nervous, but they're just hoping like, cause they don't have the best self-esteem, your soulmate. So they're really hoping once they're emotional with you that you won't think anything less of them that's like their biggest worry they don't want you to think they're weak they're very scared of that 
I don't know why that just came up. How does the soulmate think of the collective spirit? How does the soulmate think of the collective? Why are these cards so stiff right now? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Because it's missing a, the feng shui. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> okay. Spirit. Stop playing games with me, spirit. Let us know what the soulmate is trying to hide. Because I feel like the soulmate is hiding something. What is the soulmate hiding, spirit? What is the soulmate hiding from the collective? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay, I saw a lot of cards while I was flipping this. Okay. They're all good cards. I feel like your soulmate doesn't want me to say it. So I'm like, should I say it? Should I not? Because your divine mask, your, your, your soulmate wants you to be surprised like just like you swept them off their feet they want to do the same thing back they want to take the lead when it comes to this not in a controlling manner but more of a traditional manner all right your your soulmate wants to come in and show you more of their um intelligence side their feminine side um they want to show you that you know they they are intuitive too um they want to show you that you've changed them all right but they also view you like this they view you like this like you're just everything to them like you're breakfast lunch and dinner for them like they 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 feel like they need you to survive it sounds very dramatic but that's what if that's what i feel like they're saying like i feel like my other half is missing and i feel like this is my other half like i feel like that's what your soulmate is saying so the seven of wands all right, so your soulmate knows that there are people who want you. And they don't care. They don't care. They're jealous. They want to come in. And they want to try to win you. But what is this soulmate hiding spirit because i think we should just tell them like what is this soulmate hiding from the collective okay the sun temperance card all right so they've been waiting for the right time they think now is the right time to come in all right so someone could be um a taurus sign Someone could have Taurus in their chart. There's like a lot of like that was a big color of lightning. But um Spirit. Tell us more of what the soulmate is hiding from the collective. Because I saw the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups way earlier. So I want to know if those come out again. I just want one card to come out, Spirit. Oh my gosh. I'm putting all of those back. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. And the Two of Wands is the card that flew out by itself. And <sighs> your soulmate is hiding that they are intuitive. They have a tele a telepathic connection with you they've been astral dreaming to you they've been you two have been dream walking 
which is entering in each in each other's dreams and you know only two in flames and soulmates can do that it's a special it's a special connection because you two are just very connected okay so when it comes to the soulmate they know that you're the other piece of them but at first they were what took them so long is not only like you know them being in their like ways and not being comfortable with change and all of that your soulmate just feels the missing part of them which is you like you see how the high priestess is sitting here and there's light a light pillar all right and there's a dark pillar over here all right this is basically like your soulmate has been hiding the fact that they know that you two belong together but they also know that you're the missing piece of them you're the missing piece of them all right and they want to fill in this missing piece they don't want to be a half soul they want to be one soul and that one soul is with you they want that and the justice card came out all right so you could be dealing with a libra all right so your soulmate is like wanting this this happy ending with you your soulmate is really wanting this happy ending with you but they are nervous because they don't want to mess up okay they see you as a strong independent person and that kind of worries them because they like to feel needed um it makes them feel like they're contributing but there's other ways to do that all right they're going to learn that with you you two are going to, are going to teach each other things so yes these two came out together all right so we have the six of swords and the two of pentacles you could be dealing with um a gemini libra aquarius you could be dealing with the earth sign you could be dealing with um virgo capricorn taurus all right but they're coming to bring you justice they are coming to bring you justice to this situation all right they want to come and show you what they're made of they want to show you that they are capable of taking care of you okay that's their main thing they want to be a caretaker for you all right they want to be the person in your life that makes you just feel safe somebody that they want to be a safe haven for you all right some of them kind of just want to isolate you all right just you know explain to them you know sometimes that's not necessary <laughs> but some of them want to like go somewhere with water they want to relax with you so some of them might want to you know take a vacation with you and just see where uh things go like a vacation no phones type of situation um so you can really get to know each other what is divine uh I keep saying divine masculine because i did the reading uh okay before this one okay so spirit okay tune us in with the soulmate energy okay get rid of that twin flame energy okay now spirit tell us what this soulmate is hiding what else is this soulmate hiding Okay, let's get one more card. What is this soulmate hiding from the collective? Okay. So we have the chariot. All right. King of cups, king of swords, four of wands. All right. So there's definitely truth to this situation here with this king of swords. There's going to be an emotional intelligence uh, increase in the both of you. All right so um there's definitely going to be a tough conversation but it's going to be a 
conversation of clarity all right so um your soulmate is coming in they are coming in and they're going to show you a different side of them all right if you do know who your soulmate is if you have interacted with your soulmate that is for you and for others this is going to happen all right and for others of you this has already happened so your soulmate is coming in with a lot of communication all right and a lot of sensitivity and a lot of vulnerability which they're scared to do but they're going to try for you because you mean something to them all right they don't necessarily care if they're vulnerable with you but they're still scared to just due to like past situations where in relationships you know they may have expressed some things and it didn't get returned back okay so um with uh their emotions they want to show you how they really feel they really do all right they're really hoping that when they do it it doesn't backfire but they feel like they need to do it because it's been weighing on their chest for so long but for majority of you when your soulmate comes in you'll know who your soulmate is because it will just feel right instantly all right so um with the four of wands here okay your soulmate is definitely like thinking of starting like life with you so when it comes to this situation like there is going to be a foundation that gets built but it's going to be built from scratch all right your soulmate is going to purposely do that because they just really don't want to get hurt they're scared of being hurt all right and they're going to tell you that which is why they want to go slow all right so majority of you are going to agree to this all right and it's going to take some work to build but you're both willing to put in the work to build it all right um so that's like their little secret right there that they want to just come in and really start things um maybe off as friends but in reality they know that they want to progress but they just want to protect their heart at the same time so they're trying to be smart about this all right they're trying to be cautious and move slowly um so that could also be a delay for some of you of why your soulmate hasn't come in yet all right, so let's get a closing out card, Spirit. Let's get a closing out card. Close this out, Spirit. Saw the Three of Cups trying to come out. One card, Spirit. These cards are so stiff right now. Oh, Lordy Lord. This is how Spirit wants to end things with a big bang, all right? So, you know, water and air energy here, all right? So... If you're a water sign, you're definitely going to experience a tower moment. And if you're an air sign, you're definitely going to be the one with um, your heart guarded. Um, not necessarily closing off your heart chakra, more of just like um, closing it off towards them. All right. Uh, because this might come in all of a sudden that you might get like confused and startled by it when this um communication comes in from your soulmate it's sort of like um your soulmate realized you were the one and they might come in very strong and you might put your guard up like if you dealt with this soulmate before you might put your guard up and be like um where is this coming from <laughs> like this is weird like not like weird in a bad way necessarily but just like where is this coming from what kind of triggered you to do this um and then you know for this person uh your soulmate going through this tower moment they're definitely going to pour it all out all right they're going to take a huge risk they're going to take a very huge risk by coming in and giving you an offer okay with the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so let's see what um your soulmate would say to you if they were here right now okay so we're gonna go in with this hidden truth um oracle deck right here all right
So we're going to see what your soulmate has to say in regards to this situation. shuffle one more good shuffle okay what does the collective soulmate want to say spirit what does the collective soulmate wants to say spirit you didn't see my tears all right, so you definitely know who the soulmate is, majority of you. I'm in a committed relationship, all right? So for some of you, your soulmate didn't come to you because they were in a committed relationship. And for some of you, they're not coming to you right now because they are in a committed relationship. Whether it's marriage, whether it's living together, whether it's something else your soulmate fell in love with you unintentionally and they got scared because they weren't expecting that i can't get enough of you they weren't expecting to fall for you i have trouble with intimacy all right so they care for you so much that they disappeared on you probably all right for some of you and um your soulmate They're not as confused, but they wanted to make you confuse um, if you've dealt with them. Your divine masculine, I keep saying divine masculine, oh my goodness. Your soulmate is just, um, like they know what they do. But it's for their own selfish reasons because they want to protect their hearts. I want to make amends. Yes, yeah, so you've definitely met this soulmate before. I'm waiting patiently. So they're waiting for a sign from you. Um, if it's okay to come forward. Um, what sign they're looking for? That's up to them. Because they are able to come towards you. And give you a conversation. I miss seeing you. Okay, so I don't know if this was the twin flame or the soulmate reading, but I'm pretty sure I said something about a flight, all right? So your soulmate is kind of, they're kind of getting anxious here. They're kind of getting antsy. They don't want to wait anymore. They don't want to wait. They want to see you like now, now, like some of them may just show up at your door and you're going to be like, what is going on? Like, um... Are you lost? Do you need me to call you a cab, an Uber? But yeah, your soulmate is going to come in with some pure intentions. And they are going to explain a lot. I feel so happy with you. They're going to explain a lot. I don't want to let you go. Your soulmate is going to come in and they're going to communicate to you. And they're going to let you know that you're all they need you're all they need it doesn't matter if they're in a shoebox under the bridge it doesn't matter if you know it's it's a one bedroom and you know no bathroom i don't know just just random stuff you know what i'm saying just um you know your soulmate is just ready to go with the flow they're they're not trying to control anything all right they're trying to let that go they're trying to let insecurities go they're trying to let like fears go like your soulmate loves love your soulmate is very in tune with their emotions secretly your soulmate knows what and who they want they're very picky 
your soulmate is very picky and the thing about your soulmate is your soulmate just they feel like they can commit they're just scared that someone like you won't be able to commit to them they're scared to get hurt in this situation but they don't realize that they hurt you in this situation which they realize now that yeah i just ended up hurting myself in this situation because i could have been with my soulmate and i miss my soulmate i feel like a piece of me is missing i miss them all right your soulmate is telling everybody like how they feel about you now your divine uh I need to stop doing these twin flame readings. I need to stop doing these twin flame readings so close to my soulmate readings. Okay, like, they're, the energies just won't leave. Like, leave. Uh, okay, so your soulmate, your soulmate just wants your attention. All right, your soulmate knows what they're doing but they don't realize how detrimental they don't understand how detrimental it is to um the relationship and that's why there's this tower moment for them you know um it's them realizing like okay i do need my other half all right i can't keep wandering around and thinking that i don't need them and i do and plus i want them anyway so i don't know why i'm acting like i don't all right and your soulmate wants to come in with this communication they want to explain everything basically feeling like they weren't good enough for you but yes this is my reading for soulmates okay I hope you guys were able to enjoy the big moon, alright, the super moon, the buck moon, alright, there's so many names for this moon, and make sure that you're taking, you know, your spiritual baths, you know, journaling, collecting moon water, charging it up, alright, make sure that you guys are doing all of that, alright, so, you know, just positive affirmations, feel good, alright, this is a new start all right think of this this super moon as a new start okay think of this rain as a cleansing for everything all right a new start all right so this is celestial guidance all right three threes no ease all right thank you for the support celestial gang i really appreciate it you guys are awesome all right i love hearing how you guys resonate with these um yes so like comment and subscribe all right subscribe hit the bell so you know when i post all right and for all other information it is in the link description box down below all right and i do personal readings so if you like personal reading celestial.guidance all right at gmail.com all right so yes all right everybody have a good night bye